Just sit right back and you'll hear a tale. A tale of an ancient alchemist. War bells, turning lead into gold. My name is Sev, and in this episode we're going to look at the history of Zildjian. When you follow them back to their roots, you'll find that many companies are in a vastly different business to what they did when they began. Toyota, for instance, began by making looms and sewing machines. IBM made commercial scales. Nokia made toilet paper. 3M, sandpaper. Nintendo, playing cards. And my personal favorite, Lamborghini made farm tractors. This, however, is not the case for the company Zildjian. Cast your mind back to 1618, to a Turkish alchemist named Avidus. Avidus was looking for a way to turn base metals into gold. Anyway, by combining tin, copper and silver, Avidus created a new sheet alloy that could make musical sounds without shattering when it was struck. At first, this new alloy was used to create noisemakers that the Ottoman army would use to scare their enemies on the battlefield, but eventually they stopped making scary, scary bang crashes and started making musical instruments. Avidus was granted the surname of Zildjian by the Sultan at the time, which translates from Turkish as Bellmaker. The Zildjian company proper was founded by Avidus in 1623, and the company has been producing cymbals and musical instruments ever since. The exact manufacturing process of the alloy has been kept a secret. Avidus made it a family tradition where the formula would only be handed down to the company's heirs. I know it sounds like somebody spilt the KFC's 11 secret herbs and spices on some shitty horror movie, but I swear I'm not making this up. Anywho, 400 years later, Zildjian is still in operation still producing symbols and still owned by the Zildjian family. And everything was going along swimmingly until 1979, when the owner of the company at the time, Avidus Zildjian III, passed away. His two sons, Robert and Armand, got into a feud over who would take over the company, which quickly turned into a legal battle. Armand won, and so Robert got all huffy and left Zildjian, with the secret recipe no less, to start his own symbol company. He called this company Sabian and has consistently been one of Zildjian's biggest competitors. Zildjian have continued to evolve their production methods over the years, taking advantage of production techniques and materials. However, their 14-step production process has been developed over four centuries and it only keeps getting better. My name is Sev and thanks for watching.